Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and I'm here to review The Eyes Are the Best Part by Monica Kim. Um, today holding the book we have... Oh geez, I don't know her name actually. Is it... I think it's Hallie? Hallie... Capri? If I'm wrong, I'll put a note on the screen. Overall, I really liked this book. I do recommend. I liked it a lot. I think, because I'm so bad at like... Um, going on tangents and being like, okay, spoilers, and then no wait, actually, I have to say something else first. <laughs> so I'm gonna put like a couple clips of me reacting to the book in between those sections. So I'll like explain kind of the vibes, the plot, basically. No spoilers right away, just vibes. And then I'll post the bits of myself like reacting to what's happening like as I'm reading as a way to like have a few little tiny spoilers, but not like the ending spoilers. So this book is about a Korean American girl who's like in college age. She has a sister and her mom has recently been left by their dad. And so she meets this new boyfriend who is white and really racist, but in a really subtle way where the mom doesn't quite get it, but the daughters are picking up on it because, like, the mom doesn't speak English as well as her daughters. So she's not quite getting the nuances of what he's saying, stuff like that. Around the same time, the main character, Jiwon, I hope I'm saying that right, um, she is really drawn to blue eyes and wanting to eat them. Because, like, they eat fish eyes so once in a while. Like, their mom does at least. Apparently they're good luck. So that's cool, um, but then it turns into her wanting to eat human eyes. There's, it's a pretty straightforward story, there's nothing I really need to like explain or anything, no theories here. I'll just throw in my reactions now. I predicted a couple things, I did wrongly predict a couple things. <laughs> so I am around a quarter or maybe a third into the eyes are the best part, and you can see my little plushy gang over here. Let's go. Um, <laughs> and I'm getting weird vibes from Jeffrey. There's a character named George and there's a character named Jeffrey. It's kind of hard to read, but like when you say it, it's you're not hard to read. Just kind of like they're very similar names spelled out. Um, <laughs> I'm getting weird vibes from Jeffrey. He's like the typical I'm a guy and I'm a feminist and we should all be feminists, which like cool, but it feels like he's overcompensating. You know what I mean? I don't trust him. And I feel like Jiwon, I hope I'm saying that right, um, all of my Korean language exposure is from my sister who listens to K-pop a lot. So, <laughs> um, Jiwon is, I'm thinking she has a crush on one of her classmates. Nothing scary has happened, by the way. I'm thinking she has a crush on this girl who sits next to her. She did mention early on that her mom asks about boys and she's like, I don't think about boys that often, but I'm not opposed to the idea of romance. And like, that doesn't necessarily mean she likes girls, but it could be a hint. So I don't know. She is just drawn to this pretty girl that sits next to her. It doesn't really explain why or if she likes her like that, but like she could. I'm, I'm connecting those dots and Jeffrey for sure likes her. I wonder if he's gonna be an antagonist if the girls get together and or if he finds out that she likes the other girl and not him. He does seem a little clingy, but I don't know if she's gonna eat his eyeballs because it does mention that his eyes are brown, I'm pretty sure. I'm- oh, and the backstory about her like high school friends? Messy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was like, girl, no. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is really a good time. Not scary yet at all, but like, I'm enjoying the drama. Also, I like the, the spine here. Very shiny, got like a little tiny eye graphic there. Very fun. Um, so yeah, I'm having a good time. Not scared or disturbed at all, but we'll get there, I hope. There's also just a lot of emphasis on her saying like, Jeffrey is such a good friend. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm getting the vibes. She doesn't like him like that. Um, also, George, other character, is her mom's new boyfriend after her dad left for another woman. 
uh, that's rough, buddy. But, oh, George is awful. I hate him so much. Um, I really hope she does kill him. If she's gonna kill anyone, he deserves it, I think. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> for what he's doing to her, I could, like, justify her. So I hope nothing bad happens to her. Like, she kind of sucks in her own way, but, like, I really... Like, I'm not even Asian and I would feel uncomfortable with this guy, too. Just as a woman. What the way he treats Asian women. It's not very good. And I truly do I mean, I get it why the mom is dating him. Because, like, it does mention pretty clearly that, like, she sees the money in his wallet and she's like, oh. So I can see her just wanting a better financial situation for her kids. Um, Yeah. So we'll see. Okay. They're saying, like, everything I just said about Jeffrey. I don't trust him. Something is off. Yes. I am so vindicated right now. And also, she kind of blew him off. But, like, not in a bad way. She's just like, I don't really feel like hanging out. And look at how he responds to her. It's so, ooh, the ick. I don't like it that it'll take one second but okay whatever dude i cannot i <laughs> i think he's following her it says there's someone covered except their eyes which are brown is he following her after she re rejects him not rejects him but like just kind of yeah i have plans you know other things to do can't hang out bye like i am screaming absolutely revolting behavior from this boy um, I I used to actually get this a lot because I was really thin as a kid and into high school and sometimes my friends parents would be like are you like I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on YouTube but like having disordered eating and it was always like no I'm just like not hungry at some points and I just happened to be skinny but like this like, to have a mom say that, it's like, fine, whatever, but like, for this dude to be like, and then go off about sexism, like, dude, I just want cherry tomatoes and eggs today. I mean, I don't. That's what she's eating. I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> Girl, what the fuck? I can't. I hate this man, actually. Okay, the, the way she describes, like, his words hit me like a blow, I clutch the knife tightly, my arm shakes. That's, like, so real at, like, hearing a slur. I mean, I don't know if this is necessarily a slur. I am not um, informed enough about like which words are like just kind of in bad taste and which ones are like actual slurs. But uh, I'm well, not only as a woman, there are slurs, but like as an autistic woman, like, ooh, I hate hearing a certain word. Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> Also, since they're getting married, uh, the parents, I mean, the mom and the white boyfriend who sucks, they're, it's their wedding planning. They're getting married. And I hope there's a big climactic, like, horror show at the wedding because I love stuff like that when, like, something all comes to a head in front of a bunch of guests who don't know what they're getting into. I love that shit, dude. <laughs> One thing I also really hope for is for the mom to, like, reveal that she never actually liked George. That would be really fun. She seems very oblivious or just like not wanting to see what's there because I understand she doesn't speak English that well so I can see some of the like more subtle racism like slipping over her head I guess but uh I don't know I hope she goes off at him I hope he screws up in some way and she kicks his ass out of that apartment because she like the main character is not happy with her, but like, she's doing her best and she deserves better. So in the end of the book, not quite like the end, but like this is what happens kind of in the climax leading up to the ending, she gets in a fight with George, the mom's new boyfriend. She is knocked out and so she gets scanned for a concussion and they find a tumor, like a brain tumor, and I'm like, Oh, so that's why she's been, like, all weird, because her brain is kind of, like, a little messed up just because the tumor is taking up space in there, right? I know there's, in psychology class, I learned about, like, that guy who, like, got a pull through his head or something, and then from then on he was just, like, mean. 
just because his brain was altered. I think brain tumors can do that as well, I don't know. But then afterward, she didn't feel like the hunger for eyes, but she does eat George's eyes and enjoys it. So it's like, she doesn't have the urge maybe anymore, but like she still just did it because that's what she planned to do, I guess, from the beginning, maybe. Jeffrey, the dude who sucks in her class, he... I would say what she does to him is a little much for what he was doing. Then again, he was, like, stalking her. I'm okay with it. I was kind of like, oh, that's kind of a lot. Like, I feel like... I feel like my issue is death is pretty quick for someone who's worse, like George. But then, just jail time is a lot more su long-term suffering, I guess. Which, I'm not gonna say Jeffrey doesn't deserve it. And, like, the main character is a flawed person. I don't know if it's about, like, whether or not they deserve it. I liked it. I thought it was very clever how she sets him up and sends him to prison. <laughs> um, I'm not, like, mad about it, but I'm just like, eh, you could have done that to somebody else. You know? But, like, it's fine. I liked it a lot. It's very good. Um, another thing, I wanted to go over my predictions that I got wrong. The wedding doesn't happen, which isn't that surprising, but I really was expecting just a huge scene at a wedding, the drama. I do really like that uh, you're given the messy drama of the high school friends, and the friends don't really come up again that much, but that whole backstory does give you the idea that this main character is quite manipulative, so that's fun. I was also wrong about the mother solely dating this man for the money because like for one thing he's not that rich, he just like has more money than them I guess. And she is like genuinely hurt when he starts to leave her too. I maybe just misinterpreted her character for like a while, just like, or maybe I was in denial like no she can't really be this like blinded by having a partner I guess but then you kind of get more explanation of like why she's like that and it's like okay it, it makes sense like you still feel for her I'm not trying to be like oh she sucks but you know I really like the relationship between Jiwon and Jihyun I hope I'm saying that right as well um, her sister I'm glad that nothing happened to Jihyun and yeah I also, I was right about Jeffrey being a creep. I was right about that, and also about him being the one stalking her. I felt so, so proud of myself <laughs> at that reveal. I was like, yes! I'm really thinking about it. And yeah, everything he did, you know what? I am perfectly okay with him going to jail. But like I said, it's just kind of a lot compared to like the minimal damage that George gets, because we're really, we're really hoping for her to take George down, and she does, but like, it's a little underwhelming. So yeah, I really liked it, and I recommend it. One thing I will say is I didn't find it very scary, which I'm not sure if that's even the point. Like I think the description of like the eyes and eating them is mostly where the horror comes from. It doesn't really get me, like it doesn't make me scared, it just kind of makes me ew, which like I think also is the point. And like, I don't mind gore, like I like gory movies like Saw and Terrifier, Final Destination, that kind of thing. It's not that gory, but it is gory when it comes to like just the eyes and stuff. So yeah, if that makes you go ick and you can, you like the ick, you like to be disturbed a little, I would recommend it. If you don't like to be disturbed with the ick, I would say no thank you. <laughs>